Hello friends. Good afternoon all of you and let's begin for today's class. Okay. So if you see today is 2nd of March and you know that things are just turning normal. Okay. So we will come to know that in upcoming days all people are going to be here right now I can see here almost 10 to 15 students are with me in the class and uh, this is a good sign that maybe soon within 10 to 15 days also we people can expect number can increase and we can enjoy a class where we all we have uh, the, the way we people used to, to learn or teach so similar classroom we are expecting so everyone those uh, whom it is possible to come here they can just come and join the class okay let it be apart from this just try to understand that since you joined this class or maybe we began it online but though it is online but still you need to check whether you people are getting something you are understanding something or maybe this is a process of transformation that from the you can remember when you completed your 12th and then when you joined your engineering since that there should be a change that you should realize or you should be able to understand okay then only it will be easy otherwise you know that simply every day is passing every day is same like yesterday it was same then there is no progress but we expect some progress within us and that has to be realized it is it should not be just that we are learning we are maybe in online i don't know how much it is effective but you have to realize that you are just able to feel that change because after all you should need to know what goal you people have okay so maybe right now we are just as a student in first semester and if we do not have any goal in front of us it will be every day same as it was yesterday okay but you should feel that no today i got opportunity to learn something new and it was different than yesterday and every day you are making something and you should have your fixed goals it can be something like this okay um, let's say uh, after completion of your third year everybody has his own aims or goals maybe someone wants to uh, start a job maybe start business or it can be anything so for online students i will change my direction like this because it may be uh, it will be convenient for me to have a look at offline students also so in between uh, if you have any difficulties you can raise your hands also so now I have to pay attention at both. So some students are here in the class and some students are online. So those who are having any difficulty for online in, in between, you can unmute and tell me if you have any difficulties. All right. So maybe that should be your goal and you people have to achieve it. And for that, your plan must be ready. So what you're doing every day, that matters a lot. If you're just taking it casually, you're spending it, you're enjoying it up to certain extent it will be okay but if you are just every day you are just feeling the same you want to enjoy that is not going to be better so just think about that what for what purpose we people have just chosen engineering and how we are going to achieve it so maybe most of the students you know that they prefer to just go for uh, just complete their graduation and go for job which can be uh, multinational company reputed companies and they want to earn better salaries that is just it may be but you know that uh, someone from us can be uh, entrepreneur someone of you can start business it can grow so for that from right now it is time to just look around so where people are uh, doing businesses what ideas they're coming with and how they're developing their ideas if you want to become maybe employee so uh, you can communicate with the people those students who have already placed in companies if you have some of your friends in final years, you can communicate with them also. If, if it is not, it's okay. Meanwhile, one second year, third year, you can just get friends, those who are in final year, those who would bless in companies, multinational companies. It can be a number of companies. So you can have communication with them. But your journey to learn, it has to be uh, continuous and every day you must learn. So that is just I wanted to realize you people so that you should not lose your hopes at any moment at any stage of your life or it should not feel that maybe uh, somehow I was not interested but I was pushed here or maybe uh, that after completion of engineering also you are getting frustrated that I'm not getting anything or not getting a job but you people need to realize if you're ready from first year now wait from first semester now then it is going to be normal for you okay so this way we people can start so that was just initial inspiration a thought 
but I would like to give you people so that you should not feel you should not be just uh, only just connecting a class that should not be the case. So let's begin. Last time, if you remember, we people have finished. I think that what we have finished last time in last lecture, what we have done. Preposition. Okay. Yes, we people have done preposition. So you should be ready with what we have done last time. What we are learning today. Okay. So it should not be just you are without any uh, prior reference. If it is without any prior reference, you are be again fresh today and next time again fresh. That will not be creating a link. But if you will understand that last time these people studied uh, prepositions, so this time we are going to learn about conjunctions. So let's begin. I will share screen. Those who are connected online, you just ensure that it is visible for your people. So fine, is it visible? Online students? Yes, sir. yes sir. So let's begin for conjunction. So most of the times, uh, you know, that when we people use a language for any of the purpose, it can be for writing, it can be for speaking. So what do we use? We people use words. So you know that how language is used. So first of all, we have alphabets. And when we use alphabets, we make words. When we use words uh, into groups, they become phrases. And when we use phrases, then they become sentences. Sentences make paragraph and this will be people use. So it can be in speaking or it can be in writing. This will be people use language. And for language, we need to use variety of words, different words. It is not just one word or one kind of words only which are useful, but we need to use variety of mixture of words. It may be noun, pronoun, adjective, preposition, conjunctions, all types of words we people need to use. So similarly, whatever so far we people have studied, it is all about uh, see uh, different categories or parts of the words that we people have studied. And in this today's section, we are going to talk about conjunction. Okay. So when we think of conjunction, what thought comes here in our mind? As I just told, we people use sentences. Okay. And when we use sentence, it is not all the time the one particular type of sentence we people are using. So you know uh, structure of sentence first of all subject then we people use verb and then object it is something like this okay. But it is not going to help you all the time. So the structure which we people have just mentioned here this structure is of simple sentence okay. Simple sentence. But apart from that which are other types of sentences do you know we people use apart from simple sentence. Compound sentence. Okay. Compound sentence is there. And one more. One more. Complex sentence. Yes. Complex sentence. So what is this compound? Simple we people understood. What is simple? Where you people are having one subject, one verb, and something like this. So this is simple. So when you think of compound sentence, what makes it compound? Conjunctions make it compound. What makes it complex? Conjunctions make it complex. But if you come to know the sentences which are complex sentences and compound sentences, both of them, they are uh, maybe different conjunctions we people are using. But here compound sentences, they are joined with coordinating conjunction. Okay. Coordinating conjunctions. And here you people have subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so this is another type. Okay, types of sentences. Maybe if we get time, we will learn it separately. Right now, I just wanted to realize people that while using conjunctions, we people just make variety of different sentences. But conjunctions is used to join. So what to join? It can be two words. It can be two phrases. It can be two sentences also. And so by using these two sentences or phrases, we people use compound sentences and complex sentences wherever and whenever it is required. So it is not possible all the time using only simple sentences. We cannot communicate. So we people can use compound or we can use complex sentences here. Okay. 
so i hope that you people understood what is mean by conjunction and how do we people use it so let's go to the next slide so is this next slide visible for online students no sir no sir so here also i would like to tell you people in short i am going to teach you conjunctions in short we are not going deep here but in short we will learn it in short so first of all it is said conjunctions are the words that join two words i just told you okay it can be two words it can be two phrases or it can be two clauses and based on this here we are going to see some of the types of conjunctions i just told you about coordinating conjunctions if the sentence it is joined by coordinating conjunctions is it compound or complex compound yes that's right okay it is going to be compound sentence and sentence which is joined by subordinating conjunction it will be complex sentence and again here you will get another type is one more that is correlative conjunctions and if it is correlative it means again this is going to be compound all right so let's go to the next slide apart from this on first slide we people will talk about the first type and that is coordinating conjunctions okay so when we think of coordinating conjunctions first of all try to understand what does it mean coordinating conjunctions they are used to join two or more words phrases or they can be clauses also and here you need to understand when it is coordinating conjunctions they are of equal rank so what do you mean by equal rank when people think of two sentences which we people are going to join so they can be written separately sentence 1 and sentence second we can write them separate also because they are independent okay independent they cannot depend on each other for completion of meaning so therefore they are independent and that's why it is called independent clauses of equal rank Uh, so here you can see the given example. You people can read here that says he is poor, but he is an honest person. In this case, two two sentences. Which two sentences? First one, he is poor, and second one is he is an honest person. So suppose if we decided to write them separately, I can write them separately also. Like he is poor. So this is one sentence I can write. and i can write also he is an honest person why why how i can do this because because they are of equal rank okay so therefore i can do this because they are independent they are of equal rank so we can write them separately but you know in next type that we people are going to learn that is subordinate clause in that case this case is like this one is main clause and another is subordinate clause here and this subordinate clause is depending upon main clause for the completion of meaning like this so we can discuss it in next slide also so here some examples of coordinating conjunctions are like this and or but not so therefore it okay so these are some we have not enlisted here every or all but there are some as i said we are going to learn them in short so they are not all you can find more then you can refer any grammar book if you have or on internet also you can search all coordinating conjunctions and just try to learn how we can use them when we speak how oh, you are going to join two sentences or two phrases or two clauses to just learn them so here already just i explain this example in this sentence but which is conjunction used but is used and here two principal clauses which two principal clauses first one he is poor is main clause and he is an honest person 
this is also main clause okay they are joined with this conjunction another example we can uh, we'll take it here and it can be like this he completed his studies and went to play cricket okay in this sentence also conjunction used is and and here are two sentences which he completed his studies that is one that is main clause that is principal clause second one went to play cricket that is also going to be main clause we can write them separately also okay so with this let's go to the next slide and see some more examples of this coordinating conjunctions okay so first of all here one example is this my friend enjoys poetry and fiction so which is conjunction used here in this sentence and yes all of you right and is used and these two principal clauses my friend enjoys poetry my friend enjoys fiction so that can be here these two poetry and fiction these are the two words which are joined by the conjunction and second one we must work hard or face the failure which conjunction or. Or. or so when you people use or what do you get here you get here option okay it is always option so which is option here you can do one thing which you must work hard or what is or face the failure then number third my father invited them but they didn't come yes here you people can think of but so what is the conjunction first one is my father but you know with when there is but there is contrast so what is contrast here first thing my father invited but when that's about the guy opposite guy they didn't come so here you are having this contrast then uh, next example i know you must be tired so i will let you rest which conjunction so so so, so yes all of you right then next example i felt lonely therefore i went to play cricket with my friends therefore i went to play cricket with my friends and last one is your christmas was only a few days away yet it didn't seem like christmas yet yet it is yet okay so that is conjunction which is used here so that's all about coordinating conjunctions any questions here about coordinating if someone is not getting to marathi madhe lagat asel tar sanga wherever it is required i will explain marathi but for that you have to ask for that then only i will explain in marathi all right so shall we go to the next slide and see next type just we finished coordinating conjunctions just we finished coordinating so coordinating was all about two equal rank two principal clauses now here sub so sub indicates that one is main and another is just uh, depending upon another or first one for completion of the meaning for that reason so they are used to join so function of conjunction is joining okay everywhere it is joining one main clause so now here things are different now here things are different what are different things one is main clause and one or more subordinate clauses now here it can be one it can be more than one also it means that two or more than two also sentences we people can join together and here you people will get some of the examples here also they are few not all subordinating conjunctions which are these unless after till since if before than that though although where when while because as as soon as until so these are some and here one example if you pay the bill i will be very happy so who will pay the bill 
if you pay the bill i will be very happy so this is the sentence which is joined by the conjunction which conjunction is used here if if is used if. okay so which is main clause which is subordinate clause main clause i will be very happy yes this is main clause okay this is main clause i will be very happy but when but when if you pay the bill so the conjunction if comes with that clause that clause is subordinate clause and if that is condition okay that is condition if you pay the bill i will be very happy so here if is subordinate conjunction which introduces subordinate clause you pay the bill and if you remember in your 10th standard or maybe in 12th also you people might have exercise of grammar uh, that you can replace this if with unless so can you change it with unless if it is how how you have to replace sentence if you pay the bill i will be very happy this sentence you have to replace with unless so let's begin with unless i will not be happy unless you pay the bill okay aditya is coming with it so it will be you can continue the sentence if unless you pay the bill so up to this it is okay next sentence is going to have some change so what it can be can i write as it is i will be ha very happy unless you pay the bill i will be very happy do you think meaning is same you can read if you pay the bill i will be very happy unless you pay the bill i will be very happy no sir it is not same something is missing so it should be it should be i will okay. not i will not be or i won't be happy so again you can just think because they mean the same both sentences mean the same that uh, if you pay the bill i will be very happy or unless you pay the bill i will not be very happy both means same and you will come to know that there are many conjunctions that we can replace with each other for example do aldo they are almost same okay you can use do you can use aldo also there is no any difficulty you can replace do or you can replace it with aldo also then uh, in case i think that as soon as and when you can replace them with each other i think that you might have uh, similar conjunctions like no sooner than also hardly had and no sooner than all those these so you can replace them with each other okay uh, maybe we can take one example also uh, let's take one example like this when teacher entered the class students stood up okay this is one sentence so here what we people use we people use when so can we change it with as soon as how how it will sentence will be with as soon as as soon as teacher enter the class students stood up so this is similar only we replaced the when with as soon as so can you tell me it with uh, no sooner than no sooner but here you need to understand after no sooner we people do not use subject but what do we use we people use helping verb so which helping verb we people can use here in this sentence do, do did does what will come did did did, did. did because next verb entered is in past okay so therefore we are going to use did no sooner did the teacher there is no the okay teacher now enter or entered 
enter, enter the class then here what you are going to use yeah. then or then 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 the students okay the might be repeated because you know uh, yes i will correct it stood up the students stood up this way so they are similar you can replace them with each other it may be sometimes as uh, as soon as it can be no sooner than it can be when also so that you people can pay attention any questions here if no then let's go to the next slide now so here are some examples of subordinating conjunctions that you people are able to see i won't pay unless you provide the goods immediately so which conjunction is used unless 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 is here okay so now reverse process can you use if here can we use if here yes sir so sentence i am expecting sentence with if if you provide the goods immediately i will pay so yes what we did last time we added not here okay we added not here when we use unless we added not now if you are using if what we have to do we have to remove not only okay so sentence can be like this if you provide the goods i will pay okay if you provide the goods i will pay like this then second sentence he will not see me till it comes very near which conjunction till till okay. all right so till okay he had been in a grumpy mood since he got up since all right so grumpy mood just try to find out what kind of grumpy mood someone has if you come late i will punish you if if let's go to the course last time before we leave before 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 we leave all right then we should not spend more than we earn then 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 we earn i think that i know who sang this song that that she spoke quietly because she didn't want ramesh to hear because yes all right so these are some of the examples of subordinating conjunctions if it is clear then we will go to the next slide and see the next type here that type is correlative conjunction okay so might be so far you people have studied uh, coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions but correlative it means they are used in pairs in pairs means in two words they come with two words okay to connect two words phrases clauses that they carry equal importance within a sentence so here also equal importance so the type of sentence that we people will get after connecting these two sentences with uh, this correlative they will be compound sentences okay and uh, some of the examples are like this you can call it either or or it can be either or depending upon what is convenient to you you can say either you can say either okay either or neither nor not only but also as as rather than both and if then whether or so that's why they are correlative they are used in pairs so like this not only but also this is one part this is another part like this so let's go to the next slide and see some examples of this correlative conjunctions you should go either by bus or train so which conjunction is here either 
either or and what is meaning of either or and neither nor have you understood any what is meaning of either or now so there are when it is either or it is always about two it can be two things two persons two objects two things two ways so here also which are two ways bus and train okay so out of that you can choose one when it is either or there are two things two options available for you out of that you are going to choose one either and that can be any it can be bus that can be train so that is meaning of either or and what is meaning of neither nor there are also two things two objects two persons but when either or means one out of these two neither nor means nothing of two means not one or not first or not second also if the sentence you should go neither by bus nor by train it means it is not selecting this one it is not selecting that one also so that is the difference between either or or neither nor then second neither the police officers nor the military personnel were present there okay so here neither no so there are two officers two people two kind of people which two kind of people police officers and military personnel so military personnel also not there police officers also not there next the car is not only economical but also easy to drive so not only but also we are familiar with not only but also we can replace not only but also with and so how we can make it sentence with and simply you are removing this not only here and using first one that is economical the car is economical you are removing but also you are using and is and easy to drive next sentence i like you as much as he does as much as or as 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 okay as as is conjunction here next if you promise then i will come if then if then, then. not only then or not only if but it is if then because we are looking here correlative conjunctions it is in it is used in pairs so if then next she is free to decide whether to play or not whether whether or whether or this is the conjunction which is used here for joining two sentences okay so that was all about i think conjunctions so based on this you know that you are going to have let's say some exercise so all of you just wait I'll share another screen, and uh, your people can go through that exercise. to so just stay connected all right so see if you are able to see it and read it let me know. so 
is it visible it says select the correct coordinating conjunctions to be filled in the given passage from the list and here list is and or but so nor at still and therefore so you have to choose one to complete the following exercise so first one is it says it was raining heavily dash we cancelled our trip to goa so from online students okay so 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 is okay it is raining heavily so we cancelled our trip to goa can you think of therefore here will it be okay if you think of therefore yes 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 sir yes it is also going to be right so both can be right you can say uh, it was raining heavily so we cancelled our trip to goa or you can say it was raining heavily therefore we cancelled our trip to goa so both can be right here then uh, number b teachers dash parents shape the lives of children and and so and we can think and. of and here teachers and parents shape the lives and. of children number c walking is very good exercise dash many people don't go for it but but, but yes but you can think of but also additionally also you can use it okay so see walking is a very good exercise at many people don't go for it you can use it also number d you can eat your cake with a spoon dash of fork or a fork or a fork or a fork or that's all right or a four then number e sentence his two favorite sports are football dash tennis and and, and, and one more time you are going to use and here then sentence f i wanted to go to the beach dash mary refused but but i wanted to go to the beach but mary refused or you can uh, similarly think of it also it mary refused also you can say then uh, number g she is a vegetarian dash she doesn't eat any meat so 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 she is a vegetarian so she doesn't eat any meat or it can be therefore again therefore she is a vegetarian therefore she doesn't eat any meat both can be used here number h jennifer doesn't like to swim dash she enjoys cycling but But, but she enjoys cycling so then yes aditya sir so it nahi ka uh, yes it depends therefore to nahi karna sir therefore also jennifer doesn't like to swim so she enjoys cycling therefore so and therefore similar okay so and therefore similar so if you think if you can use so at the same place you can use therefore also then if a jennifer doesn't like to see you can think of but you can think of it you can think of so you can think of therefore number i the students didn't submit the assignments dash did they consult the teacher no okay so pratiksha you got it right it is going to be nor okay nor so the students didn't submit the assignments nor did they consult the teacher okay and last one is here it is a small car dash it is surprisingly spacious yet but still it is going to be at or but because here it is contrast so what is contrast 
small car and spacious small and spacious that is contrast okay so you can think of but it is surprisingly spacious yet it is surprisingly spacious still so this, funny yes still funny yes still it is surprisingly spacious so that was exercise based on coordinating conjunctions now let's go for some subordinating conjunction exercise here so if you think subordinating conjunction similar question select correct subordinating conjunctions to be filled in the given passage from the list here and here list is unless if when because as if although after before as soon as and for sentence the train had already departed dash i reached the station when i reached the station before before and before when before the train had already as departed as when i reached the station then b ट्रेन न Uh, before you can use before i reached the station the train had already departed before i reached the station yes as per you sir which one as yes sir where is as it is as if okay this is as if and as soon as you cannot use as soon as here okay because for as soon as there are two things which are happening uh, immediately one after another if you are using as soon as i reached the station the train had already departed that doesn't sound good or that is not making right sense so you cannot use as soon as with this sentence because that has to be into simple past here one is past perfect had departed and reached a simple past so before will okay and when will be okay any other options you are talking about here okay then b sachin scored more dash getting tips from his coach after after or up your right after getting tips from his coach how it can be before getting tips it will be after number c i shall contact him dash he comes back before as as soon as here you can use as soon as he comes back that will be okay here you can think uh before no because before he comes back how you going to contact him it can be after after he comes back you can use after here after he comes back you can use if kutla if if he comes back okay if also you can i shall contact him if he comes back yes when can you when is when is also when he comes back so if when after as soon as so these much options you can think of okay so here you people can think one or more than one conjunction is possible it is not only one answer is there for one sentence it can be one or more than one also the next number d is here that says you will not get success dash you work hard and yes so here you have confusion between if and unless so which one unless because here not is there so if you are using if meaning will be completely different you will not get success if you work hard 
so that is contrast and that is not okay so unless you will not get success unless you work hard number e seema didn't come to college dash she was out of station because although because she was out of station no although okay because she was out of station there is no any alternative that can be suitable here number f ashok will get the job dash he deserves it if because uh because he deserves it that will be okay but most suitable more suitable be if ashok will get the job if he deserves it okay if he has qualification if he is able to get this job then he will get so if is more suitable next number g she was behaving in such a way that she was a king as if as if which one from the as offline if. students because was behaving in such a way he was a king because no because also not suitable not okay so as if he is behaving in such a way as if he was a king only one option is suitable here that is as if h dash he got enough time he could not complete his assignment within time although although here also only one suitable option that is although although he got enough time he could not complete his assignment within time last one you should finish your homework dash i get back to home before 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 before, before i get back to home okay so that was exercise based on subordinating conjunction and last one more time you people are going to have exercise based on uh, let's say correlative conjunctions so here also question sample exercise for the usage of uh, coordinating conjunctions they are coordinating but we will call it correlative conjunctions and list is here either or neither nor not only but also as as if then whether or so first sentence dash my parents allow dash i will decide to come with you if then if then so offline students yes if my parents allow then i will decide to come with you okay so if then number b Dr. Kalam was dash a scientist, dash an author of many famous books. Not only. Not only scientist. All of you people are right this time. Not only, but also Dr. Kalam was not only a scientist, but also an author of many famous books. Number C. The management will decide dash to install this machine dash not. Either, Either or. Either or. This time having. confusion whether or whether or sir. yes most suitable it is going to be whether or instead of either or you can go for whether or so the management will decide whether to install this machine or not so this is number d ritu is dash tall dash intelligent than deepa not only but also <laughs> so here two possibilities are there as you say you people can think of not only but also it will be okay ritu is not only tall but also intelligent than deepa that can also make sense and you can think of as as also so ritu is as tall as intelligent than deepa okay so comparison you know that here two degree positive and comparative degree in one sentence so as tall as intelligent so 
so if you compare tall and tilius is similar and uh, that is comparison between deepa and ritu hmm? hmm. as tall as next sentence e as you finish your work leave your job either or either or either or okay you have to go for either or if then may be possible if you finish your work then leave your job but either or also more suitable here if then also work okay if then if you finish your work then leave your job so it depends upon in what context you are using leave your job maybe uh, it is permanently leaving or for that just time it is leaving depending upon you can think of if then but you know that uh, it is a kind of threat so either you finish your work or leave your job this is a kind of threat or order okay and last one your parents sorry your company offers dash a good salary dash an opportunity to grow not only but neither so here also two possibilities are there so those who are students thinking here not only but also but you can also think of this one your company offers neither a good salary nor an opportunity to grow or not only a good salary but also an opportunity to grow okay so that's all about conjunctions today so let's try to close it here if you have any questions or suggestions you can just uh, raise your hands ask me any questions if not then let's go for attendance first of all for uh, online students attendance roll number 1 2 3 4 5 roll number 6 so roll number 6 is here 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 absent 12 13 14 15 absent 16 absent 16 is here then uh, 17 18 19 20 21 absent 21 is also here 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 28 absent 39 40 55 55 is okay uh, 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 so absent numbers for today's lecture are 11 15 28 38 42 53 54 56 59 60 61 and 63 okay if anybody is here you just 61 like. sir 60 60 percent 61 who is 60 and 61 60 rohan of the 60 is there 61 who is this 61 yes sir shubham of the shubham is also there all right then 34 all right so with this we are going to close it here for mid term test okay we forgot it about mid term test so uh, for mid term test you are having the syllabus whatever you are going to learn so from articles to up to now whatever we have done that all things will be there for mid term test okay it will be of 25 marks and it will be mcq okay should we end it here should we stop here should i end this meeting for all Yes, yes. yes.